Hi guys, Andy Haig here with Insel Wives in Pittsburgh and what we're going to do here real quick is just show you a quick comparison between the effectiveness of cellulose insulation here in the left and blown fiberglass insulation here in the right. We get called out to repair and make more energy efficient and comfortable a lot of homes with this stuff in it and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is turn on this timer we're going to look at these two digital thermometers and I'm going to turn the heat lamp on and we're going to see what happens over the course of a couple of minutes. So right now as you can see both of the starting temperatures are just about even. This one's 73 degrees the blown fiberglass is at 72 degrees. Now a quick background on the effectiveness ratings of insulation Insulation is rated with an R value. And what R value means is resistance to heat flow per inch of a given material. In this case, the R value of cellulose insulation is about 3.7 per inch, and the R value of blown fiberglass is about 2.5 per inch. And that's a, nearly a 50% advantage in insulating ability for the cellulose versus the blown fiberglass. So in essence, the higher the R value, the better the insulation. So, um, a little background as well on cellulose insulation. What this is, is a recycled paper fiber, and it's treated with a material called boric acid, which is non-toxic. And the boric acid makes the cellulose uh, incapable of growing things like mold in it, makes it incapable of catching fire, and it also makes it uh, an irritant to things like uh, bugs and, and rodents and things like that. So you get less of those issues in your attic. Let's check in here right now with our temperatures and after just over a minute we see that the blown fiberglass is now up to 81 degrees and the cellulose hasn't budged. So you can see that the heat is passing readily much more easily through the blown fiberglass. And what would happen in your home, the way that you can relate to this is if this was your roof in the summertime and the sun was going to come down and heat it, just like our little heat lamp here, it would quickly heat up your attic and then that heat from your attic radiates down into the rooms below making the upper floors of your room or I'm sorry your home uncomfortable and at that point the air conditioner turns on and it's got to fight that heat gain coming from your attic all day long driving up your air conditioning costs but if you had something like this in your attic the heat would stay in the attic space as opposed to transferring down into the rooms below and that's going to keep the home much more comfortable and cool throughout the day and also keep your AC bills lower. Now at the two minute point we can see that the fiberglass is up to 88 degrees and the cellulose still hasn't budged. So at some point the heat will start to work its way down through the cellulose it just takes more time to do that and that uh, that's the delay factor that's what gives you the boost in the uh, energy efficiency and comfort levels. Um, Another thing that we like with this product is that with cellulose in the winter time, um, after you blow it in, it, it kind of compacts and that allows the cold air to sit down on top of it rather than fall down through it like with the blown fiberglass. The stuff is just so airy and light, it's almost like uh, popcorn if you will and it allows cold air to fall down through it and then meet warm air coming up from the ceiling below and that forms convection loops inside the material further lowering its R value uh, precisely the time you need it most. So just over the three minute mark what we now have is the fiberglass at 95 degrees and the cellulose has bumped up one degree to 73. Um, so if you have somebody come out and you're going to get an insulation estimate and the guy is recommending blown fiberglass because it's maybe what his uh, franchise tells him to put in or maybe it's what his dad or uncle showed him uh, back in the 70s or 80s of the day He's got to have a justification for why he wants to use something that is clearly inferior in performance to this. Um, the other element is that cellulose is a much more sustainable green product. It's made from recycled materials and it takes much less energy to manufacture. We call that embodied energy. Fiberglass insulation is a mined mineral. It has to be heated up in furnaces and then the material um, is spun and so forth and, and that just requires much more energy. So. Um, the cellulose not only performs better, but it's less expensive and it's a much more sustainable as well as non-toxic product. So folks, this is why we Insulwise love it. Um, if you have any questions about how we might be able to make your home more energy efficient and comfortable, please call us. We'd love to help you out. One last temperature check. The cellulose has now creeped up to 75 degrees with the heat lamp 
and the fiberglass is at 104 degrees. Well, 77 now and 106. So you can clearly see that cellulose insulation is the clear winner. Um, thanks for your time. Have a great day.